Shenzhen, the experience of being transformed. Shenzhen is not a matter of believing in scripture, or placing faith in the Buddha, or anticipating a future life in the pure land. It is not a matter of blind trust, vulnerable to uncertainties and anxieties. Rather, Shenzhen is born from an awakening to the fathomless evil of oneself made possible through the working of Amida. At its core is a kind of wisdom that comes with the realization of things, including the self, as they truly are. Shenzhen, however, is more than wisdom. There is a radical transformation in which evil, namely the good and evil of the foolish being, becomes good, namely the good of the Buddha, occurring at the depths of one's being. This transformation takes place the moment Shenzhen is realized and continues to take place, for the mind of blind passions which arises from deep in the unconscious cannot be easily transformed into great compassion. Shinran expresses the concept of transformation as follows, quote, The phrase, to be made to become so, means that without the practicers calculating in any way whatsoever, all that practicers past, present, and future evil karma is transformed into the highest good. The phrase, to be transformed, means that evil karma, without being nullified or eradicated, is made into the highest good, just as all waters, upon entering the great ocean, immediately become ocean water." Close quote. This is expressed in a more concrete metaphor when he states, quote, When we entrust ourselves to the Tathagata's primal vow, we, who are like bits of tile and pebbles, are turned into gold. Close quote. It now becomes evident that the Mahayana ideal of universality of Buddha nature receives a new existential formulation in Shin Buddhism. The foolish being, lacking true and real mind, is devoid of Buddha nature as far as his or her own reality is concerned. But in the miraculous transformation wrought by the primal vow is brought to an awareness of Shinjin which is the working of the Tathagata, and where the working is actualized, Buddha nature becomes a reality, not a mere ideal. Quote, the person who attains Shinjin and joy is taught to be equal to the Tathagatas. Great Shinjin is itself Buddha nature. Buddha nature is none other than Tathagata. Close quote. 